Hey, fellow gamers and zombie apocalypse enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the latest news that's shaking up the Xbox Game Pass universe the arrival of Dead Island 2. But as always in the world of gaming, there's a twist that's got the community buzzing. So, grab your zombie slaying gear and let's break down what this means for you, whether you're gaming on console or PC. Dead Island 2 hits Xbox Game Pass with a catch. All right, so here's the scoop. Dead Island 2, the much-anticipated sequel to the zombie survival classic, has finally made its way onto Xbox Game Pass. But before you start revving up those chainsaws, there's a bit of fine print you need to be aware of. The game is currently exclusive to Ultimate members on consoles. Yeah, you heard that right. If you're a PC gamer itching to get your hands on the game through Game Pass, you're out of luck. For now, the PC version remains snugly exclusive to the Epic Game Store. The element of surprise. Now, this release strategy has taken many by surprise. Dead Island 2 just popped up on Game Pass without the usual fanfare, marketing blitz, or even a heads up. It's a move reminiscent of the stealth drop of Tales of Arise on the service, proving that surprises aren't just for birthday parties. This strategy, while exciting, does raise questions about the communication between platforms and publishers and how it impacts us, the gamers. A glimmer of hope for PC players. But not all hope is lost for my PC comrades. There's a light at the end of this zombie-infested tunnel. Dead Island 2 could make its grand entrance onto PC Game Pass once its exclusivity period with the Epic Games Store ends in April. However, that's a big could. And even if it does happen, who's to say how long the game will stay on Game Pass? The gaming world is as unpredictable as a horde of zombies. What's in store for Ultimate subscribers? For those on consoles with Ultimate subscriptions, diving into Dead Island 2 on Game Pass isn't just about getting the base game. Players also get access to some pretty cool in-game rewards like the Trickster's Smile Knife and the legendary Tier Malibu Nightstick Bat. It's like Christmas came early, but instead of unwrapping presents, you're dismembering zombies. The DLC Dilemma Looking ahead, Dead Island 2 players might have to reach into their wallets for the upcoming Sola Festival DLC. Access to the base game via Game Pass is great and all, but it seems additional content will cost extra. It's a reminder that in the world of gaming, the base game is just the beginning of the adventure, and the journey often comes with a price tag. My two cents. Personally, I think the surprise drop of Dead Island 2 on Game Pass is a mixed bag. On one hand, it's an exciting addition that breathes new life into the service. On the other hand, the exclusivity and potential temporary nature of its availability raise questions about accessibility and value. As gamers, we're always looking for the best deal and the most seamless way to dive into new worlds. So, while this move by Xbox and Dambuster Studios is intriguing, it also highlights the complexities of game distribution in the digital age. Wrapping up. As we look forward to slicing and dicing through hordes of the undead in Dead Island 2, let's keep our fingers crossed for more clear communication and accessibility in the future. Whether you're an Ultimate member enjoying the game on console, or a PC gamer waiting patiently for your turn, there's no denying that Dead Island 2's journey to Game Pass has been as dramatic as the game itself. If you've got thoughts on Dead Island 2's Game Pass release, the exclusivity deal, or anything else gaming related, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more gaming news, reviews, and everything in between. Until next time, keep gaming and stay safe in the zombie apocalypse.